Today we are creating a custom laser cut name puzzle. These are really popular, they make excellent gifts, and they are really good items to sell. So I'm going to show you just how easy it is to design and make your own using Xtool Creative Space. Hey, I'm Sarah, you're watching Creative Ramblings. Today we are making the very popular custom name puzzle using your laser. These make excellent gifts if you have a child in your life and you just wanna make one and give them to them as a gift, it's wonderful. They also sell really well, so you can put these in your online shop or go to craft fairs and take custom orders. In this video, we are gonna walk through how to create your own name puzzle in XCS. We don't need any outside software. You don't need to download a file. I'm gonna show you how to make your own. I'm also working with some new products that I just received that make this process even easier. So I received this colored plywood from Creator Ally and it has been phenomenal to use. It is already painted, it is super smooth, and all the wood is completely flat. It cut beautifully on my P2, it leaves no char behind, and I don't have to paint either before or after. It's just done. I'm also using some glitter clear acrylic that they sent me for the puzzle pieces. Once you see this project, if you like how that material cuts and what it looks like, I have a link down in the description for you and a 10% discount code. So to get started, let's head over to Xtool Creative Space and I'm gonna show you how to design the puzzle. On a blank canvas in Xtool Creative Space, and we're going to be using the P2 for this. It's going to cut both the plywood and the clear acrylic. Over in shapes, I am going to pick a rounded square. I'm going to turn this into a rectangle, so about 10 inches wide and 4 inches tall. You can adjust this as you see fit, but this is what's going to work for me. Then I'm going to duplicate it. And this bottom piece here, I am going to move that to a different color. So I'm gonna make that purple because our backing is purple. This is gonna be the back of the puzzle. And then this is going to be the top layer and this is gonna be white. Now we need to type out a name and I'm just going to use an X tool font. I'm gonna use the name Nora. And then this Gordita's font is kind of fun, and I am going to select bold, make them really big pieces here. And I want to leave a nice border around the letters here, so I don't want them to go all the way to the edge. What I do want to do is create space in between the letters, and the R and the A are kind of overlapping a little bit here. So we can do that right up on top and just select this function here and space these out just a little bit and I think one is gonna be just fine. Now I wanna make these letters taller, so I can unlock the measurements here and just pull them down so I get nice tall letters. Then I am going to highlight just the name and duplicate that. So we're gonna pull that over, we're gonna use that for something else. Now I'm gonna select the top layer here and I want to align these so they are centered. Once they are centered, I need to lock them together so those cannot move. And I'm gonna do that by selecting this one up here. This is the subtract uh, combine option. So now these are held together, they are not going anywhere. So this is going to be cut out of white plywood and this is going to be cut out of purple plywood. These letters here are going to be cut from acrylic. Now, one of the things I like to do, because the acrylic that I'm using is three millimeters and the plywood that I'm using is three millimeters, is I like to add a little place on top of the puzzle where a child can kind of grab the piece because these acrylic letters are going to lay flat in the puzzle. So over here in shapes, there's a little half moon design. And if I increase the canvas a little bit here so we can see what we're doing better. I'm gonna take this half moon and apply it up on top here. I want this to be about a half inch wide, 
just enough for a child to get their finger into it. And I'm gonna place these right on top of each letter. I want them close enough that I can weld them with the alphabet. So that one looks good. Then I'm gonna duplicate it and bring it over. And I'm gonna use these guides that pop up to kind of make sure they are in line. Add one of these to each letter. Okay, so I'm really happy with how all of those look. So now I'm going to select everything, choose that subtract combine option again. So what this is gonna do is just add a little finger hole for a little kid to grab their puzzle piece with. And now we can go ahead and set some parameters for cutting. So my P2S can, I have parameters that I really like to use for this, but use your own or do some tests and understand what's really going to work for you here. So we're gonna cut all three of these separately. So the first thing I'm gonna do is ignore both of the top pieces. And then I'm gonna come down to just this bottom purple piece here and I can select a material. I'm just using pine plywood as my material, but I know that I'm gonna cut really well at a power of 80 and a speed of 20. So I can go ahead and cut that purple one out. Oops, probably help if I had it set it to cut first. There we go, cut at a power of 80 and a speed of 20. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut that purple one out. With that cut out, now we want to cut the white one out. So click on the purple, hit ignore to that one, and then we are going to cut the white one again at a power of 80 and a speed of 20. And finally, we can ignore that one and we can cut out this glitter acrylic. And my speed for acrylic is about the same. I'm not even gonna change from plywood to acrylic because I know my P2 very well and I know that I can do 80 and about 18, probably a little higher and process this just fine. These are all of the pieces we cut out. We have the purple back, we have the nameplate in white. These are the little pieces that came out of the letters. We want to keep those. And then we have our glitter acrylic letters here. I'm going to use wood glue to attach the wood pieces together, and I'm going to use a paintbrush to make sure that I don't get any seepage. So I first want to attach the white to the purple. Make sure this is on here really, really well. I can hold it in place for a little bit or I can clamp it down, but I really wanna get a firm stick before we move on to the next part. If any glue starts coming out the sides, you can just take a paper towel and wipe that off while it's still wet. Now that this is glued on really well, I'm gonna put in the acrylic letters. 
make sure they're the right way up. And this is going to give me a guide for where to put these little pieces. These are all the insides of the letters here. Just gonna add a tiny bit of glue to the back and then plop them right inside the acrylic. Then I can take the letters out. See these little finger holes right here, how they help you pull everything up? You can easily pull that letter right up. I want to make sure we leave the inside. Now we just let that dry. These name puzzles are really straightforward to design and create using XCS. They make wonderful gifts and they're good sellers at online and in-person craft markets. Using colored plywood like I did makes the whole process even easier because you're not having to paint afterwards. You can just cut and assemble. If you want to try out this colored plywood, uh, one of the things I really like is not only is it colored, it all came super flat, which you know that if you've ever ordered wood before, finding truly flat wood is difficult. This has been fantastic. So if you want to try out this colored plywood, there's a link down in the description and I have a discount for code down there for you as well. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I am here every week with new videos that help you move forward in your creative journey. If you want to get even more out of the Creative Ramblings YouTube channel, consider hitting that join button right there and checking out the Creative Ramblings membership. It is a way to support this channel and help me to continue do, doing what I do, and there are extra perks in it for you. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.